so the Podzilla, it's a custom hydraulic lift vehicle that we uh, we made specifically to order for our customer, you know, the Pods uh, container company. Uh, the Podzilla meets their specific needs of being a hydraulic lift vehicle that attaches to the back of their delivery trucks in order to deliver pods in uh, remote locations like customers' homes, backyards, sidewalks, city streets, all sorts of different terrain without requiring uh, additional equipment um, or training. So I was just going to say, so how did you come to work with pods? So Seabox is a, is a company that makes shipping containers and all sorts of other uh, boxes, if you will. Um, so we came to work with pods by... Uh, a couple years ago we redesigned the boxes and we made them a little more solid and uh, lighter so that they can fit more container contents into the container. Um, and then uh, Pods and Jim, Jim of Seabox, um, uh, they started talking and Jim likes to mess around with fun little projects. And they, they just said, why don't you try to, to give it a second generation? Um, and so now we're roughly three years into prototype, so we messed around with prototypes for a couple of years, um, learned a lot. We learned yeah. a lot, we learned, odds learned a lot. We learned a lot about their needs. We learned a lot about the needs that we had building a machine, um, needs from our vendors, um, things to think about when building a machine. Um, but that's pretty much how we got into hot delivery. Because it, I always say for us, because we're a cargo container company, it's literally and figuratively outside the box for us. <laughs> yeah. But since it's, since it's box related, we're all about it. Yeah. yeah. And Jim is an entrepreneur for sure. If there yeah. Ever was. And Jim, Jim just likes to make that cool stuff. He does yeah. indeed. And I think it's, it's pretty yeah. cool stuff. And we have you know, some, some talented creative people on our staff who would you know, mess around with things like robotics and whatnot in their free time. So being able to branch out and expand Seabox's repertoire into this like kind of mobile hydraulic vehicle industry has been a really uh, you know, big growth potential for the company, a big, a big learning experience for everybody, and a really cool project we've just really enjoyed. For sure. So tell us a little bit about how you came to begin to work with the RG Group. All right. Yeah, well, we began working with the RG Group because uh, in near the end of our prototyping phase, we decided to convert our one of our prototypes from an electric powered unit to a gasoline powered unit. Um, in order to do this, we uh, started sourcing, uh, you know, request looking for different vendors to help us with our hydraulic needs, help us with the gasoline engine needs, and we quoted and we got close from a few different vendors. But the RG Group was one of the most responsive vendors by far. They uh, they understood our, our timetable and our sense of urgency with the project because we often work in very short timetables with Podzilla. Um, they were the the company that was. You know, lots of companies were trying to sell us their own products or to try to spin our requirements to match what they wanted to sell us, but RG was willing to meet us right where we were at and sell us exactly what we needed. And they were just really supportive of the project from the beginning, so we gave them a try with our uh, gasoline conversion prototype, and it was, uh, it's, been, it's been very successful from there. When we shifted to our, our production run of these first 20 units, uh, RG went really above and beyond what we'd expect from any supplier, not only supplying, you know, the hoses, hard lines, control cabinet, but also coming to our facility at a moment's notice to give us technical support, to help us with the, you know, work out bugs in production, uh, to offer alternative solutions when we ran into roadblocks, and we've just had, you know, a really positive and great relationship with RG and their engineering staff uh, for this experience. Thank you. So what would you tell someone else that's maybe thinking about doing business with RG? What makes them unique? And what would you tell someone else if you were talking about, hey, I think these guys might be someone to work with? I think what makes RG a great company to work with, a great vendor to work with, is uh, two things. First, uh, just the responsiveness of RG to customer concerns and needs. RG really goes the extra mile all the time in order to you know, figure out you know, what the customer wants, how they can help the customer, how they can provide what the customer needs. If, if the customer needs a solution and is a little lost, RG is happy to step in and help, but if the customer knows exactly what they want, RG is happy to give them that too. So RG is a very flexible company in that regard. And they're also just very, they're, they're sensitive to the real world constraints people have of schedule or you know, inventory concerns, delivery, and they're willing to work with, the, with uh, all of the constraints uh, you know, a customer might have in order to supply them the product they need when they need it.